and welcome to the Unreal Engine for tutorial series on how to make a crafting system. Last time we left off doing this thing. So if I hit 3, I can toggle on and off and we have created this nice little crafting UI. Uh, if you remember, we have made this single item where uh, this text would pop up. Actually, uh, we need another one. Uh, so when if we have enough items then our text should pop up as a white color if we don't have enough items then the text should pop up as red color so we need a boolean for that and i'm gonna call it has enough items i just exposed on spawn so whenever we create this thing if it has enough items then it should color white otherwise red so let's do that so get this and we're gonna select and what i need to do i need to set color of this text so let's make it a variable and make a variable a meaningful name a single item text oops yes so this is our single item text so get this and set the color to set the color and the opacity and i want to select so if we have enough item then i want to select this part otherwise false part so let's just split this screen right click and split it out so if it false part then the color should be a red mm something like this okay and if it's not false it means yes we have enough items then uh, okay we have done the wrong part if it's true then we have to set it white and if it false then we have to set it red color okay then okay uh, so now for the crafting slots part so if you remember we have created a craft slots and inside this craft slot there is a border uh, this border so i want to set this border to something called a uh, red color when i hover over it so there are mouse over and mouse not over events hover over so if you right click on your event graph and search for mouse over so mouse enter events and mouse leave events these all are hover events for the whole widget but our widget is a slot and mouse leave event so if our mouse enter to this ui then we should do certain actions so first i'm gonna check with a branch if our item is crafted because if it's crafted then i don't want to do anything uh, it will show a golden border but if it's not crafted then i want to do the true part so if item is crafted i'm gonna call for a not boolean so if it's item is not crafted then i want to follow the true part where i want to set the border color so grab the border if you can't find this make sure it is a variable this border is a variable otherwise you can't find it and i want to set a color set the brush color yes and this should be a red color uh, you can set it to any color you want i'm just and let's just save that color okay when mouse leaves i want to set this craft border brush color to white same as before a white color so let's check it out yes the hovering part is working okay uh, now what i want to do uh, when i hover over this i want to show a details over here of these slots and vice versa if i hover over all the slots i want to show the details so for that let's make a function 
call show details and it requires the input if it can show or not so can show so if it's true then we follow the show part where we're gonna show the details if it false then i don't want to show the details so that would be a uh, render opacity would be zero so it won't show so let's for that let's set first detail and then i want to show so i want to set details so as you can see first i want to set all the details for this currently forward slots in the data one then i want to show it otherwise it might look creating the widget before showing so after creating i want to show this widget but this widget is in the crafting ui so what i need i need this crafting ui in our slot right so for that in the event construct i don't need this pre construct in the tick i want to simply cast to my player character because our in crafting ui is in the crafting component so we can access it by our player character so cast to our third person and get the player character from that and our player character has a crafting component you can just select this and hit q to straight it up something like this and what i want to do i want to get that crafting ui and i want to promote this one to variable and i'm gonna call it a craft ui same So now we have access to a craft UI and from that we're gonna get this details panel. This one, the main size box. Let's call it a details panel and make this is variable otherwise we can't find it. So we have our details panel. So in the show details, I want to show some details and then I want to set the render opacity to one. So then get details panel and set the render opacity to one so it visible to our you can set the visibility uh, that's up to you but i think render opacity would work fine for me because it's instantaneous so first i will set and then i will set the render opacity to one just i'm just copy it this guy and duplicate that so if it's not true if we are not hovering then i don't want to show that detail so this render opacity should go zero and let's just set this both in our mouse over and mouse leave so if our mouse over then what i want to do i want to show the details yes i want to show and if our mouse is leaving then i don't want to show right let's just check it out okay it is not working okay i don't want to show actually so yeah by default the render opacity is one so it is popping up like creating this but we are hover over this and hover back it is gone over again it is visibility is on so okay it is working fine we're gonna set that render opacity to zero at the end of this tutorial uh, however i want to check for is crafted for the live also so i'm just gonna duplicate this branch and i want to set it for this guy because if it's not if it's crafted already then i don't want to set the brush color to white now for the setting part so as you can see we have this set details which is complete empty so let's set the details for that we need some variables first is the craft status so let's make some variables in here uh, craft status 
detailed status let's say detailed status this should be a text and then i need details name which would be a crafting item name then i need a details description okay uh, then what i need I, I think i only need this thing and i would set that in here so as you can see we have that crafting ui so for that from that get uh, sorry set uh, detail status oh no detail status would be a function set details name oops uh, the details name would be the item name you are just created this one then set the details description oh and this details description would be the details description this guy uh, then what i need i need the crafting status so for that uh, i'm gonna just set up this crafting status in here and then i'm gonna set it in the guy so let's make a variable called craft status this should be a text and let's make a function called set status so the status would be it branch so if it's crafted if the slot is crafted then the status would be crafted if it is available but not crafted then the status would be available or ready to craft whatever control w to duplicate that ready to craft and if it's false for both this one then it is not available i'm simply gonna set it to not available okay then i want to return this status so just set out a return value and return node would return this guy so just control w for duplicate two times more so if it follow this branch then i want to return this guy if it's follow this branch then i want to return this guy so we have done this thing just close this up so set the status first because that's gonna vary and after that i want to set this status in the, this guy crafting ui so details uh, set detail status and the status would be this guy i hit compile so let's check it out three okay it is not setting up the status okay we haven't bound bind this values inside here so this test status would be bind to the detail status this would be a details name and this would be a details description okay so as you can see pistol holster ready to craft pardon the spelling mistakes okay so as you can see everything is working fine the state part now what i need to do i want to set that details the crafting details over here so for that i need the status of this guy 
so as you can as you remember we have made an enumeration and we gonna keep track of all the currently crafted and previously crafted items because when we are hitting a three it is creating a new complete new ui and so every time we hit three it will gonna hit a new ui but we want to get the status of all these uh, slots as a crafted or available or not available so for that let's in the crafting component make two functions first is a set status to true and second one is get status uh, this get status uh, follows the input of e underscore craft that would be a crafting item enumeration e underscore craft items yes and the return value would be a boolean whether it is a true whether it is crafted or not it is a boolean of status and i'm going to select it so from this enumeration so you can see it is a wild card wildcard so it changes based on this wildcard so if it's enumeration then it will change based on this so as you can see we have all the things and i want to set the status so for that make a variable for each slot don't worry you're gonna have to do it for only once so for the pistol holster i wanna create a pistol holster uh, let's just categorize it to craft items so looks much more clean and the pistol also should go in here your control w to duplicate that and a rifle holster i need uh, one more for a ammo pouch and i need one more for ammo pouch upgrade 2 it compiles it and you don't need the variables if you have like a smoke bomb that you can craft as many times as you can so you don't need variables for that because it's always gonna be force the rifle holster the ammo pouch would go here ammo pouch upgrade would go here yep so we have done this thing if you want to add more items you can just add to enumeration for the set status to true same thing i need the enumeration e underscore craft and i want to select it not a select i want to switch it so as you can see you can switch it based on this guy and for the true part this should be go to true because when we craft an item we should set this to true for the rifle holster this should be also true same with this guy and this guy so we are setting the status in here and we are uh, getting it back from the crafting slots so how do you gonna get that status so in the event this one if, if you remember we have set this crafting item in here so from this ui actually not in the from this component get craft status or what is name get status yep and the status would be go in here so whatever the status is based on that we gonna set our is crafted right and if our is crafted is true if our item is crafted then i want to set that border to golden color if it falls then i want to set it to white color so set brush color uh, i don't need i don't think i need this branch because i can select it 
the select is a ternary operation in the programming if you remember and if you're familiar with programming so so if it's crafted then i want to set this to a golden color this one if it's not crafted then i want to set it to white color okay so let's say by default our pistol holster is crafted for the checking purpose so if i hit three all the slots that define the pistol holster that all turn to yellow so as you can see in the crafting ui this defined as a pistol holster this is also defined as a pistol holster, but it is actually a rifle holster and ammo pouch upgrade one and ammo pouch upgrade two so let's now check it out hit three as you can see this pistol is crafted to yellow and it is not hovering the red part so yep and it is also setting it the true part because we are getting that from our component so it is checking the all the status for every time so we have done all this thing uh now what uh, now we have to set those li list of the items so in the show details i we are setting the details uh then i want to set what then i want to set this crafting items amount so for that we want to search this amount of items in our inventory and if our inventory has those amount of items then we want to set this set those to a list otherwise we want to set it the, yeah you don't have this type of amount then you don't have to you have to set it to red color so if, if you open your inventory component and i want to create a new function called inventory search and the thing i want to search is a class of master object so item wants to search master class master object class reference and amount want to search amount and this would be an integer and we need this inventory component in our crafting uh, sorry this where it was the crafting slots to call out this inventory function so if you remembered we have this crafting ui so it's best way to get that inventory component in here and from that we're gonna do all the things so on the event construct i'm gonna cast this to third person and from that i'm gonna get the player count component player character because our player character has the inventory component as well as the crafting component so let's just get the board component in here just get the crafting component promote it to variable i don't know if i need this but yes we already have this crafting component Uh, I don't need actually I need this one inventory component oops get the inventory component promote it to variable set it to inventory I'm gonna hit compile save so we have now access to our inventory component in our crafting slots by getting this crafting ui and getting the inventory component from that so now i can search inventory just make some room in here so what i want to search i want to search this map 
so I have the keys and the values and key is an array so I want to search for each loop that if we have an items or not and if it's a map then it the keys are all obviously a unique so I want to search wait or this would be a master object right master not master letter master object class reference this is a master object master object not a master letter okay now it will work so i want to search this, this class and what i want to search i want to search the amount so you remembered we have this keys as well as we have the values it is also a array but we can get the copy of it so you can get the copy of it and you can get a single digit a single variable inside this array so get a not a reference a copy because we want a copy an index would be this index so it will get this amount so I want to search an amount and this would be a return value of if it has an enough amount or not so let's make a return value boolean has enough items so based on this we're gonna determine if it has enough items or not while searching the inventory uh, if it has the enough items then I want to create a widget and I want to add it in the list of this guy this list we have made in here this list I want to add that widget in here so widget would be a single slot single item widget which is one line and you can see all the things has enough items or not so if it has enough items yes it is then it will gonna pop up as a white color otherwise red items would be this items and the item name would be I think I need to spawn that actor so from this array element spawn actor from class because we need the item name in here and the transform would be just make a transform to zero because right and from that I am get the item structure structure what was its name get the item structure right split it out the all the things and I need a name oh I don't need anything I can split it out but it looks a little bit messy so I will just break the item structure so item structure and I will simply break it because I only want this item name and I don't want to mess this up so every other thing should be hidden it's just Q okay and after doing this I want to add this to a vertical box of this crafting UI so requirement list why this is not showing if it's variable or not requirement list should be a variable otherwise you can't find it so this get that requirement list and add this to a child add child to vertical box yep this one so I want to add for this vertical box and the content would be this guy after adding this I actually want to remove the spawned actor this spawn otherwise it just spawn again and again so I just want to destroy this actor after adding this it compile and save 
for that i'm just gonna leave it as it is we're gonna code this inventory search but for now just leave it as it is okay now in the show details part we are showing the details for the false part i want to set that list to clear all the children because if it's not hovering then i want to clear all the children so let's check out this guy so yeah you can see three herb two rare stones we're gonna uh, set this on hovering for the is crafted also so yeah we haven't set the requirements item in, in here so it is not showing but yeah for this it is showing uh now what in the set details we are setting the details and in the setting the details we gonna we are setting this guy so i'm simply gonna select all this till the setting the item list and i will simply right click to collapse into a function and i'm gonna call it setting required list so it is the same function i just made a function and i will head an input if it can set or not can set so if it's true then and then i want to set otherwise not otherwise simply i will return okay and the set would be if it's not crafted if the item is not crafted then and then i want to set it to true because if the item is crafted then i don't want to show the requirement item because it already crafted so it is the same thing we have done before it is setting but if you hover over this it is just popping up that guy but not setting up so now on the event graph if it's crafted then what i want to do i simply want to show the details yes but it won't gonna show that and for the false part i won't gonna show the details so as you can see it is showing the details but it is not showing the requirement items because it is already crafted for this it is showing because it's not crafted so it says that we require this much of items uh okay and i think we have done all the things for our tutorial in the next tutorial we're gonna do the inventory search and we're gonna learn how to craft an item so i think maybe two or three more videos required so this is all for it now thank you so much guys for watching and bye bye